it's Miss Erica here at the Marie Fleshy Memorial Library and I'm back again this week to do another craft tutorial with you. Now I found another way to use our pesky plastic bags. What better way to use those than to make a really pretty everlasting flower for Mother's Day. Now I know everybody's got these laying around the house okay and sometimes they come in different colors so that just makes it more fun. All right, so how we're going to start is we're going to cut off the bottom all the way across, just cutting off the bottom portion. Okay, so you're going to have a piece that looks like this, okay? You can put that aside, all right? Don't throw away any pieces because some of it can be used later on. Okay, so next we want to cut off the handles. We're going to go all the way across the top and cut those off as well. All right. And any pieces that you do cut off can also be used for other crafts. All right, so let's put the handles aside as well. Now what you're left with is kind of like a tube, okay? Now I like to cut off the writing or any pictures that are on the bag. If you like the writing, if you like the pictures, if it has pretty colors, you could use those. But I'm gonna cut off the writing. Okay, all right, just leave us with the solid part of the bag. All right, cut that portion off, okay. Put that aside as well, you could use that later. And what we're left is with this big piece of solid plastic, okay. Next, we're gonna cut some circles, okay. And I have some pre-cut, okay. So you're gonna cut between four and eight circles. You can get six to eight circles out of that piece of plastic, okay? And then you wanna have them about four to six inches across. Now they're not gonna be perfect, that doesn't matter. If it's kind of uneven, it just makes the flower look a little bit more ruffled and fluffy. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my yellow piece. And what you wanna do is pinch in the center, okay? And hold it tight and pull the rest of the bag up, okay. Then we wanna grab another piece, all right, another circle. Now I'm gonna use four. So pinch and pull up again. So you really wanna grip that center, all right. So now we have some layers here. And I'm gonna use another piece of white here. And I have a blue one. So I'm gonna use a piece of blue, and that'll be my last one. So I'm really pinching tight in the center. And as you go along, you can kind of shape it however you like. All right, so we've got kind of a layered looking flower here. So next, we wanna use a pipe cleaner. Now, I ran out of green ones, but I have a really pretty yellow one here. Since I have yellow on my flower, I'm gonna use that. And you want to wrap it around the portion that you pinched. So keep pinching that and hold it tight as you wrap. All right, we wanna go around and around all the way to the bottom. All right, and then pull it down. And there's your stem, okay? And then you can fluff your flower however you like. If you want to trim it with scissors, that's fine. You could do that, but I like to leave them as is, okay? And there we go, we have a really pretty flower. Okay, and what I did here was I put three together. You could make even more. And I just used a strip of plastic from the bag to make a little ribbon. Now, if you have ribbon at home or lace or anything else you'd like to tie around, that's great. And you can make your own little vase or if I used a mason jar here, <laughs> okay? So whatever you'd like to put them in, or you could just give them as is to mom, grandmom, or any other special lady in your life. Now, another way to make these flowers, I tried. Now, you can see I have a pink flower here, okay? That's actually made out of tissue paper. You could do this with tissue paper as well. But what I did find was it was a, it was a little more stiff, and it was a little harder to work with. So I prefer the plastic bags, but you could use tissue as well. And tissue, you always find that around in gift bags, okay? So that's usually something you've got laying around the house as well. Well, 
I hope that you enjoyed my craft tutorial today. I hope that you get crafty and make some of these really pretty flowers for a special lady in your life, okay? And have fun together and enjoy a wonderful Mother's Day this year with family and friends. Have a great day, my friends. Bye-bye.